I'll just first talk about uh, scheduling and then and then any questions fire away. Uh, with our schedule, I really feel it's, it, it puts us in a position where we are uh, just like we were last year, top 10 non-conference strength of schedule. Uh, I believe this schedule, this schedule will do the same thing. And, uh, uh, you know, I know uh, there is no guarantees in anything because a lot of the scheduling is you're predicting. And I really analyzed, put a lot of thought into it, each individual team to really look at who's returning, how they're going to be. Again, you're predicting about the amount of wins they possibly could have. And, um, and I think with our schedule, we've got a really, really tough schedule, which allows us, which is important for us, allows us to have an opportunity to have a, you know, when you're looking at seeding and at large bursts and all that good stuff, uh, puts us in a position to, to uh, uh, you know, really be in a great position at the end of the year, as long as we do our job. I mean, we've got to win our games. The best thing you can do is win as many as you can. Uh, but it's also important, you know, the NC2A wants you to play good RPI teams. And a lot, the majority of our schedule is going to be top 50, top 100 RPI teams. And I think this will put us into a non-conference, again, a top 10 non-conference strength of schedule. The only two people that aren't here are Damian Wilson and Jaron Johnson. Uh, I expect both of them to be here in, for the start of fall as long as they continue to do what they're doing right now, which is on track for them to do all their stuff that's required for them, both with the university, the NC2A, and, and stuff for me personally. So if they continue to go down that road, I expect uh, we'll have all 12 scholarship guys here start of uh, um, August 25th. Yep, just wrapped up recruiting. Um, uh, been gone all really the month of July for the most part, so it was good to get back. We'll have to get organized and where we are with our prospects. And we were gonna have to sign a big class in this 13 class. Uh, it is an interesting thing because we only get 12 official visits and we can't waste an official visit on someone that's not serious about Memphis. I mean, they might say we're one of the five schools, but if we're number five, I don't know if that is worthy of an official visit. We need to be one or two, maybe three, but one or two for sure. And if we're not one or two, there's plenty of guys out there. We need to move on and go to the next one. And uh, uh, because this class is important and, um, you know, we just got to make sure that guys we're bringing in because we don't have an unlimited case of unofficial visit or official visits. I mean, you get 12 in men's basketball and college basketball, you get 12. So from there, you, uh, uh, you go from there. You know, Jamie, I don't know. That's a, that's a tough question. I mean, we, just, we need to be really good in all areas. Uh, we need to get production. Uh, from all the guys, I don't want to single out any individual, but I, I just think it's important that, you know, our guys are older now. I mean, we're, we're, we're more of a veteran team. That doesn't guarantee that we're going to win any more games or anything, but th I think they all know the importance, of, instead of just singling out one individual guy, I think they all understand the importance of those early season games, those non-conference games, how important it is. You know, here we're sitting there last year, went 20 of 23, and I, mean, I had guys come up to me and tell me they thought we were playing as – good as any team in the country I mean as you know they I had people tell me that man we, we thought you were going to the final four people in our league he said you're, you we, we would have put all our money that you're going to the final four and um, so it shows you that we kind of had we were playing at that level but we got stuck with an eight seed against a team that I felt that shouldn't even been a nine seed they should have been like a seven or a six and um, um, with that being said, I think for all the guys, Jamie, it's, it's really about, okay, we understand everything, every possession matters. I've, I have harped on that, as you guys know, but I don't think maybe it's really now sunk, on, sunk in on the guys after last year's selection committee came out with us being the eight seed based on how we were playing and the level we were playing at. So we need to do our job and be ready from the beginning, uh, especially in those early season games.